This video is brought to you by the Ground School Academy, the number one rated online ground school. With over 320 full HD videos that are iPad and mobile friendly, plus live webinars. We're so confident you'll learn more in our course that if you don't pass your check ride, we'll pay for it. Click below to become a member today. Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here of M0A.com and I wanted to shoot a quick video showing you guys three things that you don't always see all the time or you may be confused about actually on an aviation VFR sectional chart. Um, and this came up recently too in a webinar uh, I did with some of my ground school members. We're going to share uh, some of those tips as well. The first thing, follow my cursor here to the middle of your screen. Uh, you notice there's a little pendant right here. This is the first symbol I want to talk about. And this is a VFR checkpoint effectively. And you can always tell it's followed by the all caps, bold, uh, black text, bowling green. So this is bowling green right here. Now, this is what's significant about this. You as a pilot, I, I'm not from this area, so I may be flying over Bowling Green and not even know what Bowling Green looks like. Local pilots in the area, you know, uh, may know. However, you don't have to know where or what Bowling Green is, but the controllers know exactly where it is. So if you were to call up for VFR flight following, what well, you know, um, you know, so and so approach Cessna 512 Romeo over Bowling Green. The controller is going to know exactly where Bowling Green is at on their radar, radar screen. You are not required to know where it's at. However, the controllers are required to know where that's at. So that is a VFR uh, reporting point, uh, a checkpoint. Uh, effectively, those little pendants, there's another one uh, I was just looking at. Let me move my map over here uh, real quick. Um, Here's one for Woodville. You can see that flag's kind of crooked there. You can kind of tilt your head to the left. Um, and there's one for Woodville. So you can see that, those VFR reporting points. Another thing we talked about on the webinar uh, last night with my ground school members was how do I know if an airport has pilot controlled lighting or lighting at all? Well, first things first, we can always look for the star on top. That at least tells us they have a lit rotating beacon. That's a good start. Uh, but where you really want to look is down here. Follow my cursor down here. There's a little asterisk followed by an L. It always comes after the field elevation here. And that is telling us they do, in fact, have pilot controlled lighting so you guys can know that now um, now it's going to be your job to look up in the airport facilities directory to see what frequencies that that is on usually it's one two three point zero whatever their their ctaf their unicom is here that's what they list here so i'd be willing to bet that's what it is but it always would benefit you to look that up ahead of time i have been to some airports where the frequency to turn the lights on is different than the unicom or the ctaf um, and really the third and final, just kind of some different things you can see and find on a sectional chart. So nothing slipping you up on your check ride. We're going to go a little bit to the south here. And if you notice, there's a dashed magenta line right here. Now I've seen dashed blue lines before. That shows class D, class delta airspace, right? But what is a dash magenta line? Well, this dashed magenta line we're looking at right here is class echo airspace at the surface. This is surface class echo airspace around the Finlay uh, airport here. So what does that really mean for us? I'm not going to go on a big class echo airspace rant. Uh, I've done that before. In fact, I'm going to link to that video underneath this video as well if you're on m0a.com so you can see really a difference between this kind of class echo transition versus domestic and root versus surface. So I won't ramble about that. That video is underneath this video if you're on m0a.com. Look at this post. You can check that out. Um, but this is dashed magenta is class echo airspace at the surface. All right, so important to um, note that. Does this airport have a control tower? No. How do I know that? Well, because the airport itself is magenta. It just happens to have class echo airspace at the surface, which means it's probably a fairly busy airport, not busy enough to quite be a delta, uh, but they're trying to protect some instrument approaches and some other stuff there. Uh, and again, I won't bore you with all the class echo stuff. If you want to watch that video, and I highly recommend it, it's underneath this video. So guys, 
three real quick things I wanted to share with you so you don't get slipped up on a check right or maybe um, you never knew that on a sectional chart maybe it's a VFR checkpoint you never knew about um, any questions you guys have about sectional chart symbols or airspace or really anything on a sectional chart don't hesitate to scroll down underneath this video on m0a.com and leave me a comment and you know uh, you'll get a reply from me. So guys, um, I really uh, appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Do watch the other class Echo Airspace video and leave me a comment below this video. And most importantly, remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. See ya.